Hey y'all, good morning. Day 78 of my DDPY life change thing. Um, so yesterday was a pretty awesome day. Um, just very quick recap because I already posted a video about this. Um, so this whole leg of my journey started after a really bad doctor's visit. And um, I, uh, where in the doctor, I was trying a new doctor because my old one had left me. It was supposed to be my annual visit. So I went in and gave the State of the Union of me. And she, and then for the first time ever, decided to ask for help with weight loss. Because I knew, and I specifically prefaced it by saying I knew that my insurance covered some services. And I needed her to help me identify which ones it was and, and get me referrals if necessary, etc. She basically ignored all the other things that I talked about, told me that it would be impossible for me to lose weight without having surgery, and then coded my visit as in, in a way that my insurance wouldn't cover it. And I wound up with a um, $160 bill from the hospital. I still didn't get my medications renewed. I didn't get the referrals that I needed. I, you know, I, I had ongoing things that I needed follow up about. None of that happened. Um, and new stuff that had, had come up that I needed help with. None of that happened. And um, so it was just a really, really upsetting visit and a really frustrating visit. And so I immediately was like, I need a new doctor. I'm never going back to this person again. Um, <clears throat> even before they billed me. <laughs> um, and so I, I set up another appointment. The only thing that I could get was with a physician's assistant. And she helped me get all the things taken care of that the other doctor ignored and, and recommended a new primary care doctor for me. But the earliest appointment that I could get was yesterday. So this was on actually on Halloween day. <laughs> so this was October 31st of last year. So my I had to wait all this time. And when I set up this appointment, this number popped in my brain of what I wanted the scale to say when I came back. And it seemed like a kind of a crazy number at the time, especially considering that my the past two years of attempts of trying to get back on track and start losing weight again had failed and that I wasn't doing anything um and that you know like the day before I had you know Popeyes and pizza and chips and all the things so um so anyway uh and I hadn't started DDP I hadn't even heard of DDPY yet I didn't start that until the day after Christmas so so we're talking almost two months of, you know, nothing, <laughs> of me doing nothing, basically. And I actually gained a few more pounds in the process. And so, um, so anyway, that appointment that I scheduled way back when on Halloween was yesterday. And that number on the scale was exactly that number that, that I thought about that day when I set up the appointment. And I did it in like half the time. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I was really, really excited about that. And I felt so good um, the rest of the day. Like I kicked my to-do list in the face at work. And then I went home and I decided that I was going to do a workout and I wasn't going to use the chair. What I realized was that um, I have been relying on the chair and it's been keeping me like, I've been using it to avoid things that are hard, to avoid things that I'm afraid of. And um, and this week I actually got a, a new yoga mat. It's thicker, but also not as squishy. So it has a bit more support to it and it's a little bit wider. So I can, I can get up into plank with my hands on the mat. I wasn't able to do that with the other mats before, like have my hands in the right position um, on the other mat. So, so I was like, tonight the chairs stay in folded up. I'm gonna do this whole thing on the mat. Whatever I have to modify, I'm gonna modify on the mat. And I did, I did an entire workout. I did Energy 2.0. Um, I, I did the entire workout on the mat. Um, I had to use the block for a few things to, for stability, for, um, you know, just cause I can't get low enough yet, but I did it all and I modified everything on the mat and I didn't stop and, and it felt really, really good. 
you know, I'm feeling it in my body this morning for sure. Um, but it felt really, really good to do that. So I was super, super excited. And, um, yeah, so, so I was just really, really proud of myself yesterday. I was feeling super pumped and, and I thought I was going to get up this morning and I was going to, um, do it again, you know, and, and, and be even more pumped, you know, but I just, I don't know if I overdid it yesterday in my excitement or if, if I, I need to re-up some of my medications or something, but I'm feeling bad again today with the, the residual flu stuff and, um, my throat hurts and I'm more congested and, um, I've been coughing this morning and so, um, so, so I decided just to kind of rest a little bit this morning and I'm going to take some, some more like decongestants and stuff today and see if that helps and maybe I'll be able to do something this evening. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm not letting it take away my excitement for the things that happened yesterday. And, um, and I'm hoping that I can keep that momentum going, even though I had to not do it this morning. Um, so, so yeah, I'm really super excited and, um, and I feel like it's, it's just gonna, gonna keep building. You know, I, I really needed to break up with the chair, <laughs> really, really needed to break up with the chair. And I'm so, so glad that I did. So, um, so anyway, that's the update and, um, yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to stop talking now. Thank y'all for listening and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.